Good morning, Hello. everyone. Hope you're all well. So today we've got a big job on. Basically, we need to put collars on the new heifers that are joining into the herd. They are just there behind us. So whenever a new heifer comes in, basically they have to have a collar on their neck for them to be identified walking through the parlor. And obviously we have to do that manually. So that's what we'll be doing today. Yep. And if you don't know what semen we use to AI, then you do now. <laughs> do knows. <laughs> anyway, on to the job. So this is Lizzie, one of our heifers. So she has actually already carved down, but as you can see, she does not have a collar. Um, that's not her fault, it's completely our fault. So what we're gonna do is, as you know, we're gonna put a collar on today. So we have to split off by hand. So because she hasn't got a collar, she will not automatically be able to get split off because it's all on the monitor at the bottom of the collar. So we've just flicked the switch. So the gates have shut behind her and opened up in front of her and out she comes. So in order to be able to put collars on, first we have to make up collars for the heifer. So each cow in the herd will have their own individual collar. So this is one ready made, which is what we'll be aiming for. This is actually a cow that I had to leave for TB. So we will be able to reuse everything on this collar so we can reuse the numbers, this responder and the strap itself. So we start with a plain strap just like this. And then on our farm, we choose to give each cow three numbers. So all the numbers do is it's a way of identification. So we can look at their collar. We'll know that's number 840 and it's purely that. So we choose to have three numbers because that's the best way to identify them by their age and everything as well then. So these are the numbers. So we'll have two of each number to make up three. And then this is the important part. So this is the responder. So each responder has its own individual number across there. And this is the thing then that the parlor actually picks up. So when the cow goes through the sensor, this is what's referring back to the computer so that they get the right feed. Um, it records how much they milk and so on and so forth. So this is the important part with the collar. So we're going to make it up. So the only thing left to do now is just put all of her information into the computer so that the collar works in the parlour. So firstly I'm just going to put her unique number there. Then we transfer the responder number from the responder that you saw earlier, so this one, onto the computer. So like I said, this bit's really important because without this, the parlour wouldn't pick up that she's in there so the whole thing would be a little bit pointless. Then we put our registration number in that box. So that's just telling me that a cow has this responder number. So that cow left for TB. And basically now it's just going to give that responder to this new cow once I press yes. Which, like I said, works really well because it means we can reuse all the responders. So yeah, I'll put our registration number in there. I'm not going to do that on camera for obvious reasons. Then we can put in as much information really as we want to. So we tend to put in who the mother is. We'll put in their date of birth. And then she hasn't carved yet, so I'll leave all of that blank. It will pick up that she's a heifer. And then all I have to do is press OK and that information will go into the computer and she's ready to go. So some of the, most of the heifers don't have a name yet, but sometimes we name a heifer when she's born. And in this case, this heifer that we've just done up a collar, she's called Erin. <laughs> um, so what I do is I go into details and then you can see here you've got name. So this probably is more for if you've got like a pedigree farm and like you've got proper names. But as most people know, we actually name our cows. 
So I'm just going to pop Erin in there. So from now on, if we do anything with her, there she is. So if we type a number in, if she's carved, if someone doesn't know her, they'll go on there and be like, oh, it's Erin. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the collars all made up ready to go we don't how have many this. do you reckon we have <laughs> quite a lot <laughs> i'm gonna guess 18 as in you're holding 18 yeah. yeah you might not be far off i'll go 22 then okay we'll find out let's do that what let's get ready ready okay let's get ready ready it's not looking good for me <gasps> Seventeen. Oh god, if I hadn't dropped it. Eighteen. Nineteen twenty. So oh my drew. god, we're in a right pickle. We drew. Yes, we drew. <laughs> okay, new competition. How many will we have left at the end? Ooh. I reckon. I reckon. Oh, don't look. Yeah, um, don't look. Five. Well, how many was it? Twenty. I reckon we'll have low. seven left. Oh. Hello there, ladies. How are you? Hello, 8.50. How are you? Hello, ladies. I So this is the race system we have that comes directly out of the parlour. So it works really well because they're obviously really close to it so they don't have to travel far to come in through the crush. So we catch them through the yoke and we just get to put in the collar on. This crush is really handy because as you just saw, the doors at the front open right out so we can get in front of her and we have loads of room to work. So this is a young heifer. She has never had a calf before, but when you see her rear end now, you'll be able to see that she's sprung really nicely. So she is due in the next month or so and she'll have her first ever calf. done two cow uh, two heifers and one cow and we decided that it's just not working so this is a one yoke crash so they're just moving their heads back and forth and we got a double yoke down the bottom so it just doesn't make sense to stay here because we're jamming our hands we've already said the f word like 10 times we're only three <laughs> cows in so we've got a move. long road ahead of us <laughs> So here we are now on our outdoor race. So we use this for things like TB testing or if we have a worm and heifers, basically if we've got a big job on with a lot of cattle, as it's got a really long race, we can fit up to about 15 cows in a line. And as you can see, it's got a double yoke. Yeah, so the double yoke is just ideal for holding her head nice and still. So it just gives that extra support around the neck so she can't go back and forth, back and forth. So some of these are old collars or reused collars. So sometimes just for extra protection, if they don't quite, this one doesn't quite want to close all the way. I think it's just because it's like a bit worn and not as flexible as it once was. So I'm just going to put this on just to make sure it doesn't come loose, basically. What do you think, girl? Yeah. It's much better down here, isn't it? Dad. <laughs> Dad, please. What do you want me to do? Just film us. Because we're worth it. <laughs> I don't want to get my boots dirty because I'm trying to keep on clean. I'm working in wood. Okay. Yeah, so it's playing now, so you just got to film us. So we've come out to the double yoke. Something I mean, I can't even get the sun done, so. <laughs> So because some of them are old collars, they've already been closed shut. So we've got to open them first because that's like the clasps to stop them sliding out. I feel like you're really close to my face. <laughs> so 
So we nailed the technique when we did the whole head. So we just worked together, basically. There's no I in team. <laughs> Unless we speak Welsh. Why was team in Welsh? I think it's Tim. <laughs> Okay. And you just push it back down, just lock it in. So basically done. this green clasp here is folded them together. Can you see? Then this is just extra. So if she grows, because she's quite a young heifer, she might grow, we can just pull some of that out. That will come back. So you can adjust it to the size of the cow heifer. How did you get on? <laughs> Good? So I know we made Good. I know we made that look really easy. <laughs> you need strength. <laughs> So once the heifers have had their collar put on, there's a holding yard they're able to go on to and it's really nice and spacious. They get super excited this time of year because obviously they're still in. So they love to skip around and have fun. This is Erin the heifer, who I put her name into the computer earlier. Very exciting. The reason Erin is so exciting to us is actually Josie's daughter is called Erin. Erin's um, number is 2021, the same year that Erin um, the human was born. And she's the first, her mum, Erin's mum is in the cow <laughs> Gosh, I nearly just got very deep into the family tree of cows and humans and it got very confusing. But the bottom line is there's a connection between the cow Erin and Josie's daughter Erin and they've grown up together and it's just beautiful. It's nice to have special connections with certain cows. We can't help it. It just makes the job that bit more exciting. So this double yoke, it doesn't hurt the cow at all. So it's not actually even touching her skin, but because her head is bigger than her neck and her shoulders are bigger than her neck, um, she basically, it just means she can't go forwards or out, so she can't actually break out. But the yoke itself won't actually be hurting the cow at all. So not every farm will have collars. We put in a new setup over three years ago and it was an ideal time for us to implement them and we absolutely love them. So collars have so many benefits. To mention a few, it will detect heat in a cow, which we find extremely useful when we're doing AI. It will also pick up if a cow's not eating properly. So if they're a bit under the weather, it's a really good way to detect that really early. And it will also pick up if they've got high conductivity in their milk. So that basically means they could be getting mastitis. So again, you just catch things really quickly and effectively, which is just ideal. So the job's done. This is the amount of collars we had left. Cool. So I would personally say that we were both quite wrong, but... No, I won. You said seven, I said five, and there's two. Yeah, exactly, so you got it quite wrong. I win, I'm the closest. So this metal bar is the sensor, which is what is used to detect the collars coming into the parlour. So one of the main things that the collar will be used for is feeding within the parlour. So this cow called Sprinter is very keen for her food. So basically every single cow will get fed a different amount of food. And this basically depends where they are in their lactation of milk. So if they've just calved down, they're going to be having a lot more milk than someone who's coming to the end of their lactation, meaning that they're not milking much. This is just to help them. So if they're producing a lot of milk, they need the energy, the protein to help them produce that milk. So we just make sure they have the right balance. So it's really, really good. The collars will just make sure they're getting fed the right amount. And this is all done through our computer system. Another great thing with the sensor as they walk into the parlour is it will show who is actually in that row. So if there's a dry car in the row, all the numbers will appear on the screen inside the pit. And we're done. <laughs> Look at them all. Look at them all, the absolute rebels. So I don't know how long it took us. Obviously we got delayed because we moved we them down here and then our dad came and started talking absolute <laughs> nonsense <laughs> to us. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes. Um, yeah, but we're done. That's a great job done. It just makes life so much easier. Yeah. Can't wait to melt tonight. Woo! -hoo! Woo! -hoo!